just up there. So me and little lad loaded up on Saturday is in that building. But there's quite a bit to do. Well, you probably look up there. Ah, oh, I don't get any better. Can't get in it. It's all locked up. That was meant to happen, that. Last time we were down at Ainbridge, I said we we're going to be back. Ta da! We're back. And super excited about this project because this time we're working on that building. And I said in the last video when we were here, the first Derby kiln that started the Industrial Revolution is in that building. We get to work on it. Ah, oh, I don't get any better. So I'll just go through a quick whip round of what we're going to be doing. Last time we we're doing all the work on these external walls. This time we are going to refurb the building and the kiln inside it. So we looked at this and this roof is in a pretty bad way. 1982, this building was built around it. And you can see, got all these rust spots everywhere. They're all over this roof. It's coming to the end of its life now, 45 years on. No insulation in this building. Not that it needs it really. I mean, the sole purpose of it is to keep the weather off that derby kiln but it is at the end of its life it is leaking in in places and it does need replacing initially we were just looking at repairing this and putting a coating over it but it quickly transpired that, that was going to cost a fortune and was only going to solve the problem part-time so we opted well, I didn't opt, the client opted with the architect to replace it with a composite roofing sheet. So all this is going to get stripped off. I'm going to put a new composite roofing sheet on it and all new cladding, new gutter linings down in there. And internally, there's quite a bit to do there as well. Can't get in it. It's all locked up. We're going to get some keys today anyway, so we'll have a look in it later on and whip round and see what to uh, so what we need to do there anyway the next problem while we're here today monday uh wednesday the scaffolders are coming to scaffold inside that building so it, it's going to be completely scaffold as a crash deck so that we can safely work on the external of the building and then also do the work internally so we need to get scaffold wagons down here. We need to get trucks to deliver the new composite panels and all the supplies and materials. Current situation, building, grass, all the way up there. Sun's not very good for videoing today. So what we need, we need to put a road in, track map road. We're just gonna come up here over this path and then head out onto the car park up there. Luckily we knew this was might be happening, so we left our container and all our compound in the arch there from last time. Super easy now. We're straight in there, we don't need to sort that out. So me and little lad loaded up on Saturday, brought the house down. I was up at four this morning, come down in the truck. We've got trap mats, more trap mats, and some house fencing feet there. We actually made all these stillages in workshop and then sent them away for galvanising so that we could store all our trap mats on them and they work beautifully. This can't pick that up, but we can probably get about 10 with it and run them down. Just saves carting them, because it's quite a way down there, carting everything down one at a time. Little lad's on his way down with a van, another load of ice fencing panels on it. So they should be here soon, but he did ring me up and he has got stuck in traffic, so I'm going to get this unloaded. Then I think I'm going to start putting the fence up while I wait for them boys to turn up.
these drive mags have got what I'll call a non-grippy side and a grippy side and these got some big nobbles on whereas this one's quite I don't know not as grippy so on this banking I'm going to turn them all over so that they're all on the knobbly side because we're going to have to get a truck down here and we want to be able to get back out again so I might end up doing it three wide I think just so it gives a bit more room on it because it tapers off to one side as well so I think we'll three wide right down into the bottom that was meant to happen that just to spread them out Well, you probably look up there, probably wondering what we're doing. Let me explain. This is the internal sheet that you can see. Externally, we've got that brown profile metal sheet. I think there is a 100 mil insulation in there as well, and then it's got this bottom sheet. So we are going to replace this for a full composite uh, roofing sheet. Again, metal profile on the outside in there sandwiched is PIR insulation and then we've got an underside as well like they put in a lot of the uh, commercial buildings nowadays in the factory units so it'll just screw on we have got some issues we'll have a look in a minute just with them purlins but what we're going to do once this sheeting's off all these steel beams are going to get repainted so we're going to come in here we're going to wash it all down clean all the dirt and grime off and then we're going to respray the entire frame internally before the new sheets go on and you can see here this is a reason why we've been doing it this is actually rusted through here where water has been getting through the fixings and corroding the purlins so in places we're going to have to chop out a section of this purlin re-weld in a new piece and then prime it and paint it and there's quite a few of these kicking around some more corrosion there and there so what we're going to do once we've got these sheets off, we're going to come in, sandblast just these corroded areas. Then we can get a depth measurement on this remaining steel, what's left, and obviously repair what needs repairing. Get them primed with a zinc rich primer. And then paint the whole thing. But there's quite a bit to do. Also today, might get into tomorrow, we've got to sheet all the kiln up. We've got to sheet all this walkway up anything that's going to potentially get paint on it, something like that, it's all going to get sheeted up. And then, as I said before, the scaffolders coming in Wednesday and every single stage of this pyramid building, if you will, is going to get scaffolded so it'll be all decked out so it can reach right up into the apex. Just up there. I think the scaffolder said there was going to be six, seven weeks to just scaffold internally. And then we've got to scaffold after Christmas externally as well. Just getting the fencing up now, putting banners up all the way down here and then down there. So just to make sure this fence doesn't blow over, we're just going to put these triangular pieces in. Down every, every panel we've got a banner in, we'll put these triangular pieces in just to support it and make sure it kind of holds up if we get any strong winds. And we'll just put another triangular piece in here. Uh, just to strengthen this corner up as well. Makes it easy when you've got old toys here. Big stack of panels, feet, create a clips. And we've brought enough panels down, so what we're going to do is panel all the way down this track as well that I put in this morning and just put some triangular pieces on that as well. Rocking on a bit now, so I don't know whether we're going to get this done today. Um, we've got some lads down in Cardiff at the minute, they're finishing today slash early tomorrow morning so might get them back and then tomorrow they can just finish off all the trap mats because we need to get that building sheeted up inside there as well i said this morning scaffolders are coming first thing wednesday so we need to be all prepped up for it we'll see how we get on just on putting this landing pad in now thought we'd start down here and then work his way up the hill i'll just tell you about these they're all jointed together these jointing clips on double layer 
and then a quad down there on the corners all, they join all four corners together and then again a double on the end and then they all kind of act as one monolithic big mat if you will and it just stops them sinking because when you're driving over them pushes down on these connectors and it spreads the load out everywhere so we're just going to do it three wide and then we're going to do up that bank in three wide as well lads have got all this in three wide up here we haven't done this bit yet we've been concentrating on this bit up here so we've just made this wide section here as it comes around this corner so wagons as they come round you can turn on there we're just thinking we might spread these out a little bit more but they're only going too wide here for the trucks to come down so i think we will just spread these out a little bit it looks a bit narrow and we've put these big nails these big pins we made some pins in workshop for these and we've just put them in to secure these down as it turns on the corner you can see whoa how smart does that look yeah boy no fence up we're just going to stick another one on here but we've just every other one we've put a banner on health and safety signs iron bridge have supplied us with some signs for about the work putting one on there and then we need to bring some more when we come back to put on all that so i'm going to try and get down here every week or every two weeks when it gets going nothing much is happening till after christmas we've got scaffolding now just going up internally i'll try and get down before christmas and just do a quick whip round so you can have a look inside how that scaffolding's going on and then next year we'll be down like i say every week every two weeks and you can have a look at it and follow the progress on youtube super super excited about this it's like a once in a lifetime job again to be working on this so yeah took a bit of getting to it because of all the specifications everything we were working with the architects to kind of bring something together that would work for this building but delighted to be here again i think we started here in like february this year so this is going to run all the way through probably i think until march april next year not the ideal time to be doing it taking the roof off but we're going to cover it all up be fine anyway enough for me catch you next time